Hi guys, welcome today to another video about how to do in Power Page. For today, I want to present you something. Imagine you have this form, right? For example, you have this. How to do it in Power Page? So, let's see another video where we will talking about power page make a discover right so to do that kind of operations you will need the web api or access uh, to your data entity table in power page through a web api if you don't know exactly what is the web api or restful or so on try to see in the channel the, the video we have here to you to try to figure out the, a good understanding about what is Web API. So, regarding this, how to use uh, Web API to access your data entity, okay, or in Dataverse tables, you have this link, how to do it, but in this video, I will explain you in for activities what you must do the first one is activate site settings the second one is activate web rules the third web rules associate with, uh, with your view contacts and four web rules associate with view table permissions right so let's do it the first thing you must do is go to activity uh, activity site settings right and put the activity as you see here don't forget schema name okay this is a very important trigger tri uh, tricky don't forget cr a 3 a uh, slash product i i put here or logical name right you don't forget to mention the correct name and after that you use this Active site settings, web API enable, web API fields, and you must put the same way here, the schema name in your table. Okay? Don't if you don't know exactly where you found the schema name, I will show you in the video. Okay? Let's see. After that, how to do it? The second one is activate a web rule or create a new web rule. After that, associate this view to your contacts in the site. And after that, you can and you must uh, put uh, the table permission, uh, the rule created before, right? After this, you can call your web API through, for example, this is my website URL, right? Slash uh, API and the underscore API, the name of uh, the entity and what you want to select. For my case, I want to select the description only, right? So let's see the demo. Imagine you, you want this, but to, the, to retrieve this, you want to uh, create a web API, right? So you must go, the first thing you must do is go to your site portal management okay don't forget go okay let's see you go here portal management open the portal management after that you go through site settings okay you see in website website site settings here after this you must create one activate as I mentioned before. I will show you mine. For example, I have this tree created. Don't forget to activate. To activate is only select and activate. Okay? But like I said, you create a new and put, for example, the name of your entity as you have where. Don't forget this, it's very important. 
in the tables, in your data table, right? The tables, data verse in the tables, for your table, in the properties, you have in the advanced the schema name. You see here the schema name. After that, use the same schema name here and enable and put true. This is the description and this is, of course, your website where you want apply it to your web API. The same thing to product fields, right? But in product fields, don't forget another important point. You must use the Zataverse property of the colon. For example, go to the colon, advanced settings, and use the schema name or the, sorry, the schema uh, name, but in this case, the logical name. Okay, because you, if you see the schema and the names are different, right? In this case. And do the same for the other columns you want to put in your rest. Okay, don't forget logical names in the case of the, the columns. Regarding this, after this, the fields and you uh, activate the winner, create another web API winner error to see some errors. But like I mentioned, the fields, all that field is after you do that, you can go, for example, your website and test it, your API is only put your name to the, 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 the table, but in the plural, right? For example, if you go here in the tables, your table names in the properties, okay, you have the plural names, right? It's like, where is it? Okay, it's only, in my case, I use all, I only, okay, here, put a, a, a S in the end of the name, right? It's a good practice, good convention, okay? But like I, like I said to you, it's very important you follow, follow these steps to retriever and make a quickly request in your. After that, is all data. If you don't know exactly what is all data, see in, the, see in YouTube, find about it all data, and you find how to do this. Okay, imagine, after that, I have two columns, right? The name and description. If I, for example, only have, uh, only have the need of one, I only put in my query only one and only retriever one, right? The others is the tag and of course the ID, okay? But like I said and I mentioned to you, this is the way you can customize your web API and do it what you want, as you want with the, the data you have in the dataverse and customize your page in power page right so guys I see you in another video if you like it this subscribe and in, in the other video i will show you how to use web api inside your page create a custom page with some css and of course some uh, JavaScript to uh, custom and put it a page like you see it here in my presentation for today. So stay with me, subscribe to the channel if you don't subscribe yet and give me your comments below and of course uh, like or dislike if you like it or you don't like it. So it's very important to us and follow me in YouTube channel and if you want, you can have the continue.net, okay? And they have a Play Store application to you to stay with us and our community. Bye-bye, see you soon.